Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today I'm going to start um, a little project and I hope you stick around for it. It's going to be fun. It's another Christmas tag, um, more Christmas ephemera, but I wanted to share this packaging with you before um, I take it out, show you, and I'm going to be um, running these die cuts through and then we're going to make some fun ephemera and like I said tags. I wanted to flip this over because I recently purchased these. I've never purchased from um, Scrap Diva Designs before. There it is there. Hope I don't have the glare. Um, I'll take this out but I wanted to show you so you can take a look at this. She has all her information on the back. And these are just adorable. Um, I follow a gal on Instagram, the Pink Ape, and that's Marissa. I followed her for a long time. It's the Pink Ape. And she, I think Marissa's part of this group. I think she's uh, a not a designer, but she, she creates, um, what do you call them? Uh, not a collaborator. Um, she's part of the group and then she will build and make and create so everybody can see how everything works out. Um, I guess I did it the wrong side, right? So right here, uh, she's on uh, Scrap Diva Design. Okay. It's Erica D. Fields and, yeah. and um, on Instagram, she's at Scrap Diva. Dot 29 her youtube channel is scrap diva 29 and she says please use the hashtag scrap diva designs when you create something so like i said i had never purchased from her this it was so easy so quick the merchandise came within a few days um it was gotten right out to me and i'm really excited to use this set so and, and right now, I looked, she has some bundles going on. Um, I wanted to tell you how much I paid for this. I don't think I paid, I don't know, I'd say maybe $20. Um, her prices are very good. So you might want to go and check out her shop. But in this kit here, it is... I don't know if the kits have names. Um, I probably should have checked before before I started to tear this apart. Um, she does have a Christmas tag bundle. Oh, that's pre-order only for $19.99. And you get some cute, you get these tags here. Hold on a minute. Uh, let's see here. You get these tags. See, a 13-piece metal cutting die set creates two different tags with this set. Includes snowflakes and mini bows. So this is the snowflakes. Mini bows. Pre-order. It looks like you might get both of these. But I would go, don't take my word for it, because I'm not sure if I ordered the bundle if or, or if I ordered them separately. Um, but head over to her shop. I don't make any commission or anything like that. Um, but I just think this is, I've seen what's been made with this, these die cuts, and I just think they're really, really cute. So we have these acrylic stamps here, which I guess I'm going to rip this apart. And it has a two from, which can be used on the previous tags that I made. Two from Santa Paws, which is cute. So if you have a puppy, you want to make something. Santa Paws, Let It Snow, Seasons Greetings, Warm Winter Wishes, Special Holiday Treat. Again, you could use that if you into dog cards. Delivery from North Pole. Open me, dear Santa. A lot of cute sayings on here. 
And then these are the die cuts for the little packages. You want to create a package, little tags. And then in this one are the snowflakes. And these are, you could make these into a uh, um, little pocket for your junk journals. Or again, make tags for your presents. Oh, all this stickiness. Well, I'm not going to be able to get this back in there, so I'm just going to rip this. Because it's all stuck together. So, and then we have this die set here. Isn't this pretty? And I'm going to cut all of these out, and then we're going to make some fun, some fun little ephemera pieces to go into your holiday journal and then this is a double one so this does not come apart this must be like a little a card that you can make these are the snowflakes um so i want like i said i wanted to show you these i wanted to show you the back cover so you could go and check this out make your notes it's scrap diva designs and um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna take all of these off of here, and I'm gonna pull some holiday papers, and we are going to have some fun. So I will be back shortly with all of these cut out, and then we will start. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything cut out. These are the once again these are the dies. This is the front. Um, of the present and then this one here so that goes in. this one here is the back that's what that looks like that's the under layer and then these here are the back little tags which are really cute I mean you can just cut a bunch of these little tags out and use them however you'd like to there are two different sizes you can see one's a little bit larger than the other and I'll show you they don't they don't really make too big of a difference, um, but just enough a little bit on the top. So I'm going to set those aside. Um, I did cut out quite a few snowflakes as well. And unfortunately, when I was cutting, these are great. I just, I love these. So you get three different styles. Oh, let's see. Where is the smaller one? This is the smaller one. Is this the smaller one? Yeah, I guess you get different sizes. So you get one, two, three, and four. Yeah, so you get two different sizes of each style, okay? Um, unfortunately, these cut out great, but what happened when I was cutting them out I had a, another layer on that I shouldn't have had, and the layer came off um, the protective pad, whatever you call it, the plastic guard that you put over these, and this actually rolled around my Big Shot, um, but it didn't affect how they cut. I'm just trying to carefully flex them back, um, so just be careful. <laughs> I, I just didn't, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't going through. And my top, my top protective um, acrylic kept coming out and I didn't realize. And these two went through and curled just a little bit. I've, I've been working at it, but they're not too bad and they still cut wonderfully. So I'm not too concerned about it. So let's put some of these together and then I'm going to, the second part of this, I will do the larger tags. Um, the paper that I used here, it, it was a little more challenging and difficult to pick paper out and to decide what I wanted to do because some of the back paper that I used um, just didn't go. It, you know, it didn't go with the silver. Um, so I went back to my sparkly pad, which is this right here. 
it's um, DCWV Matte Stack Holiday, a uh, Frosty Holiday, and there's 18 beautiful sheets in here of really pretty sparkly papers. I've used quite a bit of them, um, but I thought this would be, ooh, and that pretty. These would be good to use. So I I went once I cut these out. I realized I needed to jazz them up a little bit more in the back. So I went and cut some more frosty paper out for those. And then these here, um, I want to use these because I, I just like the background. I went and I cut plain. I'll show you. I had originally cut all of the back tags out like this. And they just, they just didn't go. I just didn't like the way they looked. Um, so I went and I just cut some plain paper in the background. I also cut these. I thought the red would be nice. I didn't like the way these looked. So I'll do something else with these. It's no big deal. I'll have other smaller dies that I can use these to use and cut out. Um, so I'm going to do, I thought I would do these two sparkly because I pulled some of these fun little dimensional stickers here, these little snowflakes with the rhinestones in them. I have Tim Holtz. I think these are a little more um, vintage style. We're going to use some Tim Holtz on these. So I pulled out my little pack there, and then I have these fun little shimmery, shiny pieces that might go well on here. We'll check them out. And then my favorite and um, are these here, these really pretty snowflakes, and they have little Victorian scenes on them. I have, I pulled two of these. This is a little, little boy, I think, on his sleigh. This one here is of a train going through a village. Um, I think I pulled the, the village again. These I bought many, many, many years ago at, um, Oh, gosh, they went out of business. It wasn't Joann's. Um, oh, gosh. What was... Oh, A.C. Moore. A.C. Moore. And um, they used to have bins and bins and bins of these type stickers. And they would always have their, you know, 99 cent sale. And I would just go and load up. Um, so when these are used up, I hate using them. Because once they're gone, they're gone. But I have to. I have to start using some of this stuff up here. It's a little ridiculous that I don't. I think we have a tendency to hoard our favorite pieces. And then we just can take them out and look at them sometime. I should make a... I should just make a um, journal with just all my favorite items in it. Then I can just go through and have it be like a picture book. And I think I'm doing this a little backwards, um, which I am because I need to stamp. I'm not paying attention. I need to stamp on the back of this, the to and from. And these work out really well. We're see that little hole. It's just below that Christmas present area. So as this comes down here, um, there's my little, you can see as this comes down, the hole is perfect. It's right there. So these were really thought out nicely. Um, okay, so here's the to and from. Oh, Daisy, stop. I don't know what she's barking at. So this is the to and from from the set. All right, I'm going to go see. Obviously, somebody might be here because normally she doesn't bark like this. Okay, I think she saw a squirrel or something. Um, okay, so this is the to and the from. And we're going to get the back of these stamped here. And I'm using my VersaFine on these. I don't think I need to, but I'm going to.
and that's a this is a really nice stamp too. It stamps really well. Um, so those are cute. You know, I'm going to get the rest of these stamped while I'm thinking of it, and I have it out. I'll move this up a little bit so the from can be down a little bit more. Put that there. This one. Yeah, this is a really nice stamp. So, so far, so good. This is a nice, this is going to be a nice set. Um, oh, so the back here, this one here is um, double-sided. So, I'm going to run a couple plain white ones and then I will I will attach the white ones on the back there. So I will do that shortly. We will finish getting this done, this one here. See that little chinker in there. And when you're obviously gluing these down, I, I mean, I don't need to tell you, but I'm just going to mention it. I don't think you'll need a lot of glue. Um, you don't want it pushing out from the sides. Sometimes I have a tendency to do that. Um, Isn't that cute? So I could put one of these on, but then you can't really see the silver. So we're not going to do that. Um, I don't want to cover it up too much. This is kind of cute, this little tiny one. We could put that like that right there. There's my little tweezers. We could put that down there in the corner. Maybe just put it right down here. We could put it up there. And these here I am going to glue down just a little bit because I don't want these coming off. Um, breaking off because if this is hanging off of a present or off of a bag um, and again I think these are going to be gift tags that will can be used again so um, Whoever's name gets put on this will go into a box and be able to be used um, again for the following year. Which is nice. Then you don't have to keep making or you don't have to keep making purchases. So these are glued down. Okay, that one will stay. Yeah, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to just let these dry, and then we'll come back, and then we can thread them. Isn't that cute? That's going to make a very cute gift tag. So that one there is done. Um, let's see. Let's do the red one over here, the other little fancy-dancy-schmancy one. I think I will get this down first. 
So I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm going to be well healed before you see this video, but I'll tell you what happened to me this morning. I've, if you've watched my videos in the last few weeks, um, you will have heard me talk about going to my husband's office and being down in the basement and purging files from <laughs> inception when he started the company. He never, never really threw anything away. They've, the girls have tried to purge a little bit, but they're so afraid that they're going to throw something away that my husband is going to go back and look for. But, you know, when you've been in business almost 40 years, you don't need your records from 1980. 887 <laughs> up through 2014. I got a whole schedule from our accountant as to how many years that I have to save certain things. So I've been doing a deep a deep dive purge. So our office is in a very old um home, beautiful home all hardwood floors and it's it's just gorgeous. We ended up putting a large addition on for my husband and we we have quite a few people in our office and um we have another company that rents the whole top floor from us. So because it's an old building when you're down in the basement um and you there's a set of hidden stairs that go out into the garage. It's the opening is only about, I'd say five feet tall. Um, and I'm five, seven. So today, normally I work with my, our, um, oh, I don't want to call him. He's not a maintenance man. He's our, um, he, he's our handyman. He does, he comes up here and helps me. He works, goes to the quarry. He, he does everything. So Lou is out today and I contacted my daughter-in-law and I said, you want to come over and work a few hours and we'll knock off some stuff in the cellar. And so she said, yes. So I went up as I was going up before she got there. Um, I was going up the steps and I had my glasses sitting on top of my head and I I misjudged and I lifted my head up too soon and I split the top of my head open about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Um, my glasses, the eye part or the, the bridge of the glasses literally cut right down into my scalp. Um, so I went upstairs and I just patched it up and had the girls put some ointment on my head and back to work I went. Um, then when my sons found out, they because they work at the office, they came downstairs and they're like, Mom, Mom. They couldn't even look at it. They're like, You got you need to go to the you need to go to the health center and you might need stitches. I'm like, eh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm it's all good. Um but then I got thinking, when I got done, I worked for about two and a half more hours and I finished what I wanted to do. I thought, maybe I better go to the health center. So I went. And of course, they told me, no, you don't need stitches. Just go home, shower, wash your hair. They wanted to know when I had a tetanus shot last. And I told them, eh, go home. They said, we can put a staple in your head, but it is, it is going to hurt. And it's not going to really um, speed up the healing process. I said, I'm going home. I'm out of here. So that was my that was my morning, which was something I didn't expect. So I'm blaming it on Lou because Lou used to, would feed me the boxes, and Lou wasn't there today. All right, so I may try something. These, as you can see, was I as I was talking, 
some of these here were a little they were just a little um didn't like them too too much for these so i'm just going to try i'm going to play around here a little bit and sit, add, try to add see what some of these look like on here that i did the other day that i cut these out i know these are a flat but I'm thinking that maybe something like that. And this is where sometimes it gets hard. Um, Again, I had something in my mind, and it's not what I imagined. So, and see, I really like that silver, but it just blends in too much. So we aren't going like that. Let's see what we have over here. Maybe I can build up a few things with Timmy's stuff. Let's see. I could add some little, I'm just poking over here. I haven't left you. I'm just looking, looking, looking. That's too big. If I could find a smaller 25 center. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should be humming like Julie does in her her video. Sometimes she'll start humming away. Humming away. Compliments of the season. It's too big. I don't have to have the entire um, package showing either. That's too big. I like this compliments of the season. That could come right down here a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I could give it some depth with my little uh, spongy, I call them spongy squares. And if I take that out, I could go there. Are you bored yet? This is what, this is what happens when you don't have a plan. Um, Let's see. I like that, like that. I do like that. Um, now, see, I keep wanting to use that, and I can't on these because it's just too. It too much. It ain't. It just didn't go work. I'm not going to use those stars there. I may have to set this one aside, and when I'm working on one of the others, look and... I have a small candy cane. I could go behind. And, and really, are they really going to notice the front? I mean, come on. Are they?
they really going to even notice the front? That's not too bad there. That's kind of cute. I like that. So we can we can pop this one up. We can raise this up a little bit. So let's put this candy cane down right here. We're going to put that right there like that. Or the art glitter glue is going to determine where I put it. Because you know. Oh, dang it all. You know how quickly that dries. Okay. Let's see, I'm just trying to think. Um, I think I'm going to use a little sticky square for this as well. I get this raised up. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't. I'll just take it apart. So we're going to try that right there. See how that lifts up a little bit? And then um, I may have to glue this down. I'm going to get this positioned. This I'm going to put on. Yeah, I think that'll be good. We're going to get some little sticky squares on this. Let's see where we're going to. So I'm going to want one up here. there and we'll put one here on this leaf and I think I think that will be good yes yeah, so see how this is raised up nicely and I am going to I'm gonna glue this down I want that to because the, the paper is shiny and a little rough, these little guys aren't going to stick really well on this. So we'll glue this down. And that's why, that's why you also use your, you stamp everything on the backside because if you're going to raise these up, and make more of a dimensional card, you wouldn't be able to stamp on this afterwards. So is this where I want it? Is this, this has to go under here a little bit. There we go. And I can put a little bit of glue right here because that's nestled right on top of there. Good. So we'll let this dry. So you see how that is raised up just a little bit. It gives it a little bit of dimension. See that? All right. So we'll let the, hopefully that will dry and stick. So we're going to set this one aside. We'll do one more. And then I'm going to break away. So we have those two there. I'll break away and um, I'll do the next part. So this one here, I think this will be, I'm going to use, again, um, some pieces that I cut out from before. Um, these, these are going to be a little tiny point set of flower. This I pulled from Tim Holtz. Um, this is, we aren't going to have any dimension to this. So I do need to, I do need a plain white one, um, but I will, ba I'll back that afterwards. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take the time and do that now. Um, we'll get this one done and then we'll work on a couple of the tags.
And these would be really cute little, um, you know, if you keep them flat and you don't put any dimension to them, these would make great little, little miniature journaling cards in your, in your junk journal for the holiday season. But you can, you can do a lot with these. I mean, even to make a whole row of, of just these um, for a belly band would be really cute. Cute, cute, cute. You could, glit, you could uh, actually, you know, put glitter on them. You could emboss them. You could, a lot of things you can do. Okay. So I'll back that afterwards and put the, see, I could, I could put that on there, but I, I don't want to. I want to have it where it's like this here, where it's showing the design. So this one here, I thought I might put this little telegram style piece here. And then these are to make little poinsettias. These cute little pieces here. And then I have this white star from the snowflakes, the center of the snowflakes. I think that might be cute. I want to try to keep this one flat. Um, the only other thing I thought of is doing a, if it's, this is a little bit bigger. I could put this. A little flower down here. If I can get this fixed here. I love working with little things, but boy. And then I could put special delivery there. That's kind of cute. But I think I like, I have a special delivery on the other one. I have a parcel post. But I think I like this here like this. Tucked down in there. I think that's cute. And then I have this little guy as well. Maybe I could get rid of the star and put, put this on there. And then I would pick up the green as well. Round and round and around she goes. Maybe something like that. That might be that might be cute to put that on there. This one I'm going to ink up just a little bit. This is a little too, a little too white. We'll get that on there. So the little flowers I'm going to put on first because I want to be able to tuck under. Um, I want to tuck under the little thing here. Okay. I really like those. If I can get this tucked. under there like that. That'll be good. And then maybe, let's see, I won't press that down. I don't know. I feel like I need the white I feel like I need the white here. Hmm, what do you think? I really don't know. Isn't it terrible to spend so much time? I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with this. I think that little white is just too bright. 
but to spend so much time on one little tag. And I wish I had, I think I do. I might add another little something to this, but for now I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to cut out some other little items and we will come back and we will finish these up. We'll just do one or two tags um, and then we will get these threaded. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I have the second part cut out and it is these dies right here. So I'm gonna push these over here. I made some modifications to the other little ones I wanna show you. So this is the double right here, and this is how this cuts out, which is great. Um, I may have folded this a little too much. I may end up putting a little bit of washi tape there just so it doesn't tear because this is the first time I've used it and I wanted to see what, what this is gonna be capable of doing. And then this here, this one, this die here, you can see where you have these cute little scalloped edge around it. And I chose this paper here. Um, so that is this die here. And then the inside one, you will see, um, I chose again, the, for the inside, I chose this paper here. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna work with this. And this is the single die. You can see here, um, where there are, let me get my little pointer, my little magic pointer. There's little tiny stars on this one here. And all I did was I took the blue, some of the blue sparkly paper, and I cut just big enough to fill the little, um, the little star cutouts here. You don't have to if you don't want to. I did the same thing here. I just added red. I had some little tiny pieces of the red sparkly. And the only reason that I covered the inside is this paper here was white. I did not want to use white on the inside. So you will see that if you use, if you do this, one side is great to do because you can butt it right up to the seam. The other side, you are going to have a little tiny bit here. I don't care. Um, you know, on the side, you could cut this down if you want, but it's so minimal. I'm not going to bother to do that. Um, this is going to be going in my book. If I was making it, you know, in a junk journal to sell, I would definitely cut this down right here to make it all even. I'd put maybe a little piece of lace on it, some washi tape, go over um, the end so you don't notice it. I don't notice it, so I'm not really... I'm not that worried about it, but I wanted to show you before we dig into that, I did make some modifications. This one here, I believe, believe had that really funky, sparkly red um, pop-up ornament on it. I didn't like it, so I just pulled it off. I left the, the gold because I glued that down, but I just pulled the rest of it off and I added one of the snowflakes. I added some Tim Holtz. Um, little images to that. And then I added the the twine. Um, this is like Baker's twine, a little rougher, and it's just the candy striped. So I modified that. This one here, um, I may have modified, I don't know, but I just wanted to show you. I added the berries here um, from another set. And then again, Tim Holtz, and then these cute little snowflakes I had showed in the beginning. This one here, I definitely modified this. I added the leaves. I think here I had just put the little point set it down with this little Tim Holtz telegram. I didn't like it. It needed more. So I added these cute little die cut leaves here and then the special delivery. And I add, I put pink twine um, on this one. And I, th I think that's much cuter now. So that one's been modified. And you can always go back and, and do this. If you don't like something, just go back and take it apart and redo it or add. And then again, this one here, I don't remember what I had on the front of this. I didn't like it at all. And I, like I said, I was I really wanted to use one of these sweet little pieces here. Um, so I put that on the front and I added, um, again, a Tim Holtz parcel post. So I think that came out 
that came out really cute. So those are done. And I want to finish up. I know this is getting to be a long video, but I want to finish up with the other dies here to show you what could be done. We're going to be playing with more of these because I have a lot more ideas um, for this. Um, these dies here. So this here is cut out. And I'm going to use all Tim Holtz um, paper dolls and images on these. So we're just going to get this. buggered up here with all kinds of glue. Get this down. And if you wanted to actually make this a little journaling card um, that you could write on, you know, you would want to, um, you know, put something else on here. I'm just having this as decorative for right now, just for video purposes. To show you what what you can do I can always add something on the back and then I pulled these sweet little sisters out here they've got their little mink stoles on and then again uh, another Tim Holtz um, little piece of ephemera that would be kind of rustic for this And we're going to put these two gals right here. I could put them on a pop-up, but I don't want to do that because the, this will eventually go into a pocket um, in, my, in my journal. And I just want to lay them flat. I don't want them to catch. So we're going to put these gals right about here. And then again, I just, I have a feeling I'm going to be using these cute little die cuts here a lot for flowers, the poinsettias. I just think they're adorable. And we're going to put this here like that. And again, I just want to you know, show you that you don't need a lot of fancy um, items, you know, to make make some nice cards here. Um, and I think I'm going to actually add, I'm going to add a little sparkly here because I do like these. I think these are really cute. I'm going to add that right there like that. And that's it. I mean, it's simple. It's easy. It's very cute. And then I have my crinkly ribbon. Um, I think I'm going to add, I think I will add the red to this just to make it a little more, just to make it a little more festive. I may not have cut enough here. I may have to, I may have shortchanged myself. I may have to, oh no, that's okay. It doesn't have to be super, super long. There, and I think, I think that's good. So there is our little tag, um, which we'll be making more of these. We'll have a, we'll just have a marathon day making these here at some point. And then this little booklet here, um, again, I picked out, and I'm just going to get a little, I'm just going to clip this so it doesn't keep opening up when I work on it. I picked out all Tim Holtz pieces here because I just thought these would be cute. So we have a Happy Christmas, and I have this cute little boy with his skates on. We're going to put him here. I just want to see how far up this is going to go. 
and it looks like he's ready for the snow so I also have let it snow and we're going to I think this will be good here whoops let goes up here doesn't it it let snow so I think that'll be cute like that. So that's how we're going to, I normally don't like to work with stripes, but I think this, I think stripes in this case make this kind of fun and festive. And then we have our little boy here. It's just so cute. And I'm just, I don't really care if the Merry Christmas is covered up. So we are going to, only going to do half of him. And then I can, that way, if I want to, slide some words under his arm I can and then if not I can just I don't think it'll matter that this half here isn't glued okay we have our let Maybe I should do all these at once so I don't forget. Well, okay. Let it snow. I'm going to leave it here so you can see that a happy Christmas. It's okay. His little hand is covered up a little bit. Okay, so there's the front. Just simple and easy. That's what we want, right? Simple and easy. Maybe when we're, you're short on time. And then I picked this little guy out in his little knickers. And we've got some icicle tinsel. And we have a little Christmas tree um, holly wreath here. This is going to be, we're going to have him sitting up on here. I can put the little tinsel over a little bit more. There we go. So what I'm going to do first is just get this, because that's where I want that. And I think we will put the icicles right to the side. Yeah, that'll give him, that'll give that little, that sweet little boy room. To hang out. Last year for Christmas, I put real lead tinsel on my tree, and oh, I just love it. Um, my mom hoarded it, and after she passed away, when we were going, my brother and I were going through the house, she had 40 boxes down in her basement, so we split it, <laughs> um, and I use it, and I still take it off the tree very carefully and rewrap it, because you can't buy it anymore. So there's that sweet little guy, isn't he cute? And then over here, we have his brother. 
Um, I picked out this December 25th, and we have his brother who's hanging around. He's got his knickers on with his striped socks, and then some extra little ephemera. Timmy ephemera, T-E. But I have all these Tim Holtz paper dolls, and I haven't really used them a lot. I have to, because I do like them. So this here I am putting right up around here. Isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. And he's going to be hanging out on the 25th. He's going to be hanging out right about here. Right there. Isn't he sweet? I love these little boys. I love little boys. They're just so cute. Full of mischief. They look so innocent. Like my boys were innocent, but boy, were they little dickens. They were little dickens. Pointing to his brother over there. And then we've got some nice little. Let's see, maybe we'll put this down here. I wanted to put it up here. But maybe I will put it down here. Down here, and I have this little heart. I did have it up here. I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut this off and put it take that little stem off of there. still like to put it down here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stem right off and just have the flower. I think that will work out better. Make a little modification. Yeah. Get this little heart in here somewhere too. I put them up a little too. I put them up a little too high. I'm gonna do it like that. Gotta have a little heart between the two bros, right? There, that's cute. That's cute. All right, and then the back page. And, and I pulled for the back, I pulled this beautiful tree from Tim Holtz. And then Mama here on the back. She's waiting for her husband to decide on a Christmas tree. She likes this one. She says, I'm standing in front of this one. This is the one I like. This is the one I want to take home. And then I have a cute little greetings here that she's holding on to. So... OK, 
Okay. She is standing steadfast next to her tree. And she's got a little Christmas greetings that she is holding on to. There. There. And that is the back. So here's the front. There's so much you can do with this one here. Here's the front with its two sweet little boys inside, the brothers. Actually, they're all brothers, all three of these. And there's mom on the back. Okay, so then for the, um, the little ribbon here, I picked out this here. This is an old Martha Stewart ribbon, I believe. Um, actually, no, it's Recollections. This is old though, Christmas Noel ribbon. So I want to put this on the front here. I'm going to put it on both of them just to add a little, add a little something, something. And then I'm going to take this little twine and I'm going to tie this like this. Not okay, and then we're going to do this on the back side as well. The back one, and you can just put a bow on the front. I just thought this would be really cute um, to have them on the front and the back. Because you can never be too festive, right? With Christmas. There. So there is the little, I just think that's adorable. So this is um, another cute little tag just, you know, to pull out. We're going to be, I want to do, I have so many more ideas for this as well, but I just wanted to show you, um, you know, what's possible if you're not quite sure what to do or even where to start. I wasn't quite sure where to start with this and I just decided to make a little little storyboard or whatever. So this concludes this extra long video of tags and such. Um, but I just think it was it's just a beautiful, fun, very festive um, die cut set. And I encourage you to go over to the shop and um, grab a set for yourself because it's really, really fun. And be sure to check out uh, Marissa over at the Pink Ape. And she has some videos as well with different ideas. So I want to thank everybody for joining in. Um, it's getting to be that time. And so don't wait because you know the holiday season gets busy. But thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you to my new viewers, all my new subscribers. Um, I've noticed a big change and I really hope you like this video. I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up and I'll see you down the road. All right. Bye-bye.